Well, today, President Jacob Zuma will take stock of the past 20 years. He's due to release a review document that reflects on the country's gains and losses since the dawn of democracy. Let's cross live to the presidential guest house in Pretoria, where our reporter Tulasi Zwisimilane is standing by. Good morning to you, Tulas. Uh, we had the State of the Nation address not so long ago. How is this review different? Well, this review is key, uh, Joe, and if you look at the last 20 years, uh, it will actually reflect on what has happened since 1994. It is cross-cutting. It actually takes stock of what has happened in terms of transformation of South Africa, the creation of key institutions of democracy and also the entrenching of the culture of democracy, but also looks at what has happened in terms of the economy and also in terms of the lives of the various people. If you look at the review that was done 10 years ago, it reflects on such things as developments in the areas of health, education, uh, access to uh, jobs and, eco and the, uh, economic opportunities, even the change in terms of the special patterns and also the settlement patterns and also in terms of na nation building. Those are some of the issues that we expect will feature uh, in this review. How much honesty can we really expect from the president in an election year when he looks back on the successes and failures of the government? That's the key question, Joanne, and the president really cannot afford uh, to not take a hard look at the last 20 years because a lot of the times the, uh, you know, the, re the uh, reports or the review, uh, such as the one that was done 10 years ago, reflected on uh, information that was coming from government departments but also from interactions with various players, academia, uh, various institutions, studies that have been released. But in this case, we also have the very brutally Frank uh, uh, NPC National Planning Commission diagnostic report that was released in 2011 and in as much as government will want to push the line that says we have a good story to tell they really cannot depart uh, too far from that uh, because that report was quite honest about what the key challenges are in this nation but also reflecting in as far as the progress that has been made you also have uh, they'll be drawing you expect that they'll be drawing from issues such as uh, you know reports such as the census 2011 report, uh, which is also quite honest in terms of the challenges that, that remain. Well, uh, how, how much detail are we likely to get on how these challenges will be addressed to us? It's likely to be very detailed, Joy, and you can expect that the National Development Plan will feature highly in terms of the solutions uh, that, that, that will be uh, proposed. Uh, you remember that the uh, diagnostic report of the National Planning Commission identified nine key challenges, which include uh, poor educational outcomes and also the fact that too few people work uh, and also, you know, high disease burden. Uh, so you'll expect that a lot of the solutions that we've heard already, government prioritizing the five priorities of education, health, uh, rural development and uh, land reform and also uh, ensuring that South Africans feel safe and also job yielding economic growth. Those are some of the key issues that government has been punting. So you can expect that once the, you know, the review is uh, done and dusted in terms of what has happened in the last 20 years, I expect that President Jacob Zuma will then suggest that uh, we'll rally the nation and actually call the nation to join uh, government in implementing the National Development Plan. Tulasis Wesemelani, thanks very much for that update from the presidential guest house in Pretoria. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com.